Apex or Best Extender? Which one is better? That's what we're gonna find out in today's video. So a lot of people has been saying that the Best Extender is just a copy of the Apex. So in today's video, we're gonna compare the two, we're gonna see how are they similar and in which ways they differ. And by the end of the video, you're gonna be able to know which one is actually the best for you. Quick disclaimer, the best extender is my own design, so it's my own product. So the best extender retails currently at $130 compared to the Apex that retails at $170. The best extender comes with free shipping worldwide compared to that with the Apex that you actually have to pay shipping on top of the $170. Also, the best extender comes with the best extender app that helps you track your workout. So depending on how much tension you're using and for how long, and you can also track your progress. So it reminds you monthly to measure yourself so you can know how much you've gained. And it also comes with a full free course that you can watch and you can use so you can know exactly how to use the device properly. Compare that with the Apex, you're not getting much besides the device itself. Okay, so let's start from the bottom and we're gonna start comparing each component of each extender and we're gonna see which one is better. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the base. So on the Apex extender, you have the metal base that is flat, there is no padding, there's no plastic here. And compared to that, on the best extender, we have a rubbery base that is round and ergonomic. So obviously pressing soft silicon against your body is going to be a lot more comfortable than pressing flat metal against your body. Secondly, the Apex has the ability to hold in any position, so it holds the rods in whatever positions you set them, but the best extender does exactly the same. So that's pretty much a draw here. On top of this, the best extender comes with a strap that you can use just in case the device did not hold in the position you want it to. And the reason we included the strap is because no matter how sturdy the device is once you buy it, after you use it for a couple of years, the rods here may not hold in place and that's how we future-proofed the best extender. Now, let's work our way up. So on the Apex, you have the springs that are exposed and they can move freely like this. Compared to that, on the best extender, the springs are built in and they're hidden at all time and that makes it slightly more comfortable when it's touching your skin. So especially if you have some hairs on your legs, here they might get stuck in the springs compared to the best extender where the soft plastic is gonna be much more comfortable for the touch. Now let's talk about the scales. On the Apex, it's pretty difficult to know how much you're stretching. So you basically have to measure the length of the springs with the ruler, and then you're gonna have to go online and check this length of compression, how much tension is it applying on your penis. Compared to that, on the best extender, you have scales and you can know immediately how much tension you are stretching. So if you're stretching four pounds or seven pounds, you can immediately see on the rulers how much tension is being applied at all times. Now let's talk about the build quality, okay? If you move the apex, everything here is moving, the springs are moving, the top part is moving. Compared to that, the best extender, everything is solid, nothing is moving, and everything is very well made. There's another issue, at least with my version of apex that I'm gonna show you right now. So if we would apply a certain level of stretch, let me turn this one on. So when we apply some level of stretch, you're going to see on video what is going to happen. As you see, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but the top metal part is actually getting stuck by the teeth that are on the side of the rods. And so to release it, you, you every time have to press it down to release it from the teeth. And as you can see, sometimes one part will get stuck and the other not, so it will make an uneven stretch on the sides. Obviously, it's not a, it's not a big deal, but it does get stuck and that is annoying some people online. Compared to that, let's see if the best extender gets stuck or not. Now we are going to test the best extender. I'm going to increase the stretch 
and we're gonna see if the top part is gonna get stuck on the teeth. Also, keep in mind that here we made the springs very smooth to the turn, even under very high pressure. And as you can see, the top part, even though I'm stretching quite a bit, 11 pounds here, the top part is not getting stuck by the teeth and it's going smoothly up. And as you can see, it is stretching 5.5 kilograms or a bit over 10 pounds. Now, let's work our way up. So on the best extender, you have the possibility to change the angle of stretch. So we included this knob on the top that you can basically twist your penis while stretching. And that allows for much better and faster gains because it breaks down the tunica. Compared to that, on the apex, you don't have the possibility to do it. So sure, you can take your penis out and twist it 180 degrees, but compare that with the best extender where you can twist every 45 degrees and that will allow you to twist it precisely as much as you want. Now, a lot of people have been questioning how sturdy the best extender is. And if I move it like this, nothing is actually moving. So we made sure that is as sturdy as possible. We actually locked the bracket at the top. We made the base attached to the rods in a very strong way. And of course, the apex being made of all one metal part, it is also very sturdy. Now, regarding the level of tension that you can achieve with either the Apex or the Best Extender, on the Best Extender, you can achieve 22 pounds of stretch. On the Apex, they claim that you can achieve 40 pounds of stretch. However, with a quick disclaimer that if you do get to 40 pounds, it will ruin the springs on the device. So regardless, 99.9% .9 of people should not stretch more than 22 pounds. But to be quite honest, I couldn't verify that you can actually stretch 40 pounds with the Apex. If somebody managed to do it, please let me know. But to be honest, I don't see why anyone would wanna get to 40 pounds. So there you have it. This is the best extender and this is the Apex. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you think is better? Do you think that the best extender is actually a knockoff of the Apex? Which one of them do you think is much better built. I'm really curious to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Also, make sure to join our Discord group where we're discussing new features. You can suggest more features that you would like to see in the best extender or upcoming products. Or you would just like to ask any question regarding penis enlargement. That is the place to ask it. In anyways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.